The Philippines has sent a note verbal to China following the incident in Pag-asa Island in the West Philippine Sea, according to the Department of Foreign Affairs. To give us an update on this story, Deniza Fernandez is a reporting live. Deniza. Yes, Neil, you are right. The note verbal was issued on Wednesday after a Chinese Coast Guard ship seized rocket debris from the Philippine Navy. According to DFA Secretary Enrique Manalo, they sent a note verbal as they seek for clarification from China on the incident. While the agency has their own reports, Manalo said that they would like to hear China's side. Earlier, the Philippine military said that the Philippine Navy was towing suspected rocket debris to Pag-asa Island when a Chinese Coast Guard blocked the boat and forcefully retrieved the debris on November 20. However, the Chinese embassy in Manila denied that there was a forceful retrieval. It added that a friendly consultation took place. Asked how to reconcile contrasting claims, Manalo said that that is the intent of the note verbal. After the alleged forceful retrieval incident, a series of blasts were heard by Pag-asa residents. The repetitive sounds were believed to come from artillery guns or weapons from Zamora Reef and Spratly Islands, based on the local police's report. Meanwhile, a fishers group asked President Ferdinand Marcus Jr. to denounce China's forceful retrieval of debris. The Pambansang Lakas ng Kilusang Mamalakaya ng Pilipinas or Pamalakaya said China's action was an utter disrespect to our territorial integrity. According to Pamalakaya National Spokesperson Ronel Arambolo, China's retrieval of the rocket debris near Pag-asa Island shows that it can enter within the 15-kilometer municipal fishing waters of the Philippines which is the fishing ground for small fishers. Arambolo stressed that the daring move by Chinese forces deserves to be raised in the international community for condemnation. Pamalakaya protested against China before the United Nations in the past. The group said a similar protest would be filed following the recent incident in the West Philippine Sea. Mm -hmm. Denise, as you mentioned, uh, the Philippine Navy and Beijing uh, do have different stories with regard uh, to this incident. Uh, even uh, President Marcos yesterday was able to watch his uh, ambush interview. He mentioned that he wants to believe the Philippine Navy, but uh, he also wants to hear the side of uh, Beijing. So uh, the question here, I guess, is uh, what happens next? What happens uh, if uh, Beijing uh, sticks to its, its story, and uh, which is const contrasting with the account of the Philippine Navy? Neil Secretary Manala said that they stand by with the Philippines' account, but their next course of action will still depend on how China will reply to the note verbal. While the Chinese embassy denied such forceful retrieval, the DFA wants to get an official comment from Beijing. Okay, that's Deniza Fernandez reporting live.